Hey guys, so today I'm going to be filming this eye look for you guys. Um, it's kind of just like a gold, coppery, uh, you know, dark, muddy red kind of look. Uh, really smoky eye, you know, nice big lashes. Um, something really fun for the summer, um, but still kind of sexy, not just, you know, pinks and, you know, pastels and stuff like that. So um, I have my face done already in the video. This is just an eye tutorial. Um, I thought maybe it would cut down the time a little bit and make it a little bit easier to watch. Um, you know, not having to watch like a 20 minute video. Hopefully it'll be much shorter than that. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, um, please subscribe, please like my video and um, definitely leave comments below. Let me know what you guys want to see. Um, anything like that. And I appreciate you guys watching so much. Hope you guys enjoy. Bye. Hey guys, so today we're just going to do an eye look. Um, I already have my face on, I just wanted to do a really fun eye look for you guys, something kind of summery and fun. Um, so I'm just going to jump right into it. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, a MAC paint pot to prime my eyes, and this is in Painterly. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, um, this is from IT Cosmetics, it's actually a concealer brush, but I'm just going to take this little end right here. Dip that in to the paint pot. And go ahead and just paint it all over my eye. And what this does is kind of just create a base for your eyeshadow look. Put it all over the lid and the crease. Okay, so now that that is done, we're going to go in and we're going to set that with just like a very um, neutral skin tone kind of color. <clears throat> and I'm going to go in and I'm going to use Peach Smoothie from Makeup Geek. And I'm going to set that whole area. And I'm just using um, a Sephora Pro Smoky Crease Brush. All over the crease. Now, the reason you want to put um, a powder over that is kind of just to set it the same way we do with our face. Um, you put a liquid or, you know, a cream or whatever on, and then you set it with a powder so that it doesn't go ahead and start creasing on you and that's just what, exactly what this is doing. Okay, so now that we have our base on, we're going to start, um, I'm going to go in first with some copper ring from MAC Cosmetics. This is um, a beautiful, beautiful copper shade very popular shade from MAC. And I'm going to go in with a Morphe S30 brush, an S30 I guess you could say. And I'm going to put this all over the lid. So now we have that on. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with this color here. And this is, I believe it's Sienna. Yes. This color right here, it's Sienna from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm going to go in with a Japanesque brush. Kind of looks like the MAC 217, except it's a little bit more diffused on the end. And I'm going to take that, dip it right into that Sienna. Apply it to my crease on the outside first and then just kind of work it in. Okay. So now that that's done, I'm going to go in with this Morphe M139 brush. It's kind of just like a dome shape brush. And I'm going to go in with um, Cocoa Bear, the shade right here. 
from Makeup Geek. And I'm just going to put that directly in my crease here. So now that that is done, I'm going to go in with this little pencil brush. It's an M431 from Morphe. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to dip it into this dark shade right here. This is Mocha by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I mean, I'm sorry, that's Mocha from Makeup Geek. I'm sorry. And I'm just going to dip the little tiny brush into that and put it just right on the V, the outer V of my eye right here. And I want to make this outer corner kind of really dark. So we have a nice kind of gradient effect here. Okay, so now I'm going to go back in um, with that Japanese brush with no additional product, the one that we use Sienna with, and I'm just going to kind of go over everything real quick here. Not too low because you don't want to wipe away um, what we just did on the outer V there, but kind of in the upper crease. Just kind of blend it out so you don't have any crazy harsh lines or anything. And now I'm gonna go in with that um, original brush that we used where that had the peach smoothie on it and just run over under my brow, like above where we just ran over um, with that Japanese brush. You can kind of just kind of do like windshield wiper motions and then just do little itty bitty circles like this, like I'm doing here. I find that a combination of the windshield wiper motions and the little circles is gives me the best result. Really the best thing to do is just to build. I um, actually decided to bring this mocha in just a little bit here. Kind of give it more of like a cut crease effect. Even though this is not technically a cut crease. Okay, so happy with that. <clears throat> So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in with copper ring and just touch up again because sometimes you just lose some color there when you're doing um, darker colors. It, it can fall out a little bit and you can lose some of the intensity of the color. So I'm just going to go back in and repack that onto my lid. So now for the fun part, <clears throat> I'm going to go in with this Get Lucky from ColourPop, and it's this beautiful gold shade. And I'm gonna go in with just a little detailer brush here. This is for a little detailer brush. And I'm gonna hit it with some Max Fix Plus. Dip that into that color. And I'm gonna go ahead and start patting it on like the inner ball of my eye just to catch the light. So now one more time, I'm going to go back in and I'm going to use a tiny little detailer brush this time to go back in with that um, copper ring, just a little smaller dome shape brush to go in with the copper ring and kind of just throw it again in one more time in between the mocha and the gold. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm going to go in with some gel liner. I'm going to use Maybelline Black is Black, as I always do, and just a tiny little brush. Um,
And I'll show you guys a little trick that I do sometimes. I take a little bit of concealer. I'm just going to use the Naked Weightless Concealer from Urban Decay. <clears throat> and I will go in with just a little, just a little itty bitty brush. I will take this brush and I will dip it into just a little bit of concealer. I'll go make like a line under my wing. And then just very carefully blend it out. What this does is kind of just help your wing look a little bit more defined. And it also will help sharpen it up. If it's not to your standard of sharpness. <laughs> See? Just a little bit better. Barely, you can barely notice a huge difference or anything. It just helps a little bit. <clears throat> so now what we're going to do is we're going to go in and I'm going to use that same pencil brush that I used for Mocha. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm going to go in. My bottom lash line, and just start putting that on there. I kind of can't help but make a funny face when I'm doing this. Okay, so now I'm gonna take um, <clears throat> I'm gonna take a brown eyeliner like this. This is just a Rimmel liner, and wa line my waterline with it. And then I'm gonna go in with another little brush like this, a little dome shape brush, and I'm gonna hit it with the copper ring. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in with um, a little bit of this Soft and Gentle from MAC. This is um, one of their highlighters, if I can get it open. It's kind of hard to open the packaging. Take this on just a little detailer brush like this. And just put a little bit in the inner corner here. Just give a little bit of a highlight effect so the light catches it. Gives you more of like a open eyed look. And I'm also gonna put some of this under my brow. And you want the most of this to be at the highest point of your brow, so right under the arc to help catch the light. So now we're going to go in and we're going to do um, false lashes and I'm going to do that with my uh, Lily Lashes in, what style is this? Oslo? I don't know if they sell these anymore. I got them a while back. And same deal as always. I'm just going to use my crappy little um, angled elf brush that has glue all over it and I'm going to use my eyelash duo glue like I always do. And I'm gonna paint some of that on to the brush and then onto the lashes themselves. While that is drying, I'm gonna. Okay. Now. Make sure you get the base of the lashes really well because that's what you want to be very, very black so that it hides in with the falsies. <clears throat> so now that these have had a little bit to dry, had a minute, go ahead. Okay. 
So now another little trick that I like to do um, when I have thicker band lashes like this is I will go in with um, something like Kat Von D's tattoo liner or just really like any liquid liner and I'll run over the base of them just to kind of help hide. And that can like make such a big difference. It really, it just kind of helps tie everything together. Okay, and then one more time, go in with some mascara. Make sure you get all of your lashes black to help blend. Okay. 